patients with vasospastic or Prince melangina aren't always a bit of a problem. I'm not sure which patients are really at risk, how much therapy I should give them, and so forth. Now in Jack, researchers from Japan have put together a risk score for patients with vasospastic angina. It turns out that in Japan, there is the Japanese Coronary Spasm Association, and they have more than 1,500 patients that have vasospastic angina. From this, they have put together clinical details which put together patients that have highest to lowest risk. The highest risk comes from out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, which is four points. Intermediate risk would be smoking, angina at risk, organic coronary stenosis or multivessel spasm at two points each, and the lowest would be, surprisingly, increased ST segment elevation with pain and beta blockade loops. Add them all up, and what you end up with is a score. And here's how the score works. Low score is zero to two, Intermediate score is three to five, and high score is six or greater, and MACE for each of those groups is 2.5%, 7%, and 13%. So it turns out we now have a better way of evaluating patients that have vasospastic angina, and it'll help us sort them out for therapy. For CardioSource, I'm Peter Block.